So good morning viewers, my name is Dr. Suprathik Bhattacharya, I am a consultant endocrinologist based at Kolkata. So another very important topic that we want to talk about today is pre-diabetes. The diagnosed cases of diabetes is only the tip of the iceberg. So if you see the numbers in hand, we have around 77 million people suffering from diabetes. But in India itself, all across the world, the number goes up to around 400 millions and it's going to touch very soon to 600 million by the time we're in 2035. But a much, much larger number are having pre-diabetes who had not yet been diagnosed and will be having diabetes very shortly if they do not make major lifestyle changes, reduce their weight, stop smoking, start walking and things like that. Now pre-diabetes is a stage where the sugar levels are high, higher than usual, but it has not touched the zone which we can classify as diabetes. So conventionally we do a fasting sugar, we do a prandial sugar that is the after meal sugar and we also do an average of the past three months sugar which we call HbA1c. So what is the diagnostic criteria of pre-diabetes? So anyone who has got their fasting level between 100 and 126 or their after meal sugar between 140 and 200 or the average sugar or HbA1c between 5.7 and 6.4 would be considered pre-diabetic. The importance of pre-diabetes is that this is that particular place where you can do diet and you can do exercises and have a very strict uh, regime of lifestyle maintenance thus revert diabetes or pro propensity to develop diabetes in the first place. For those kind of individuals we need to have a screening program where we do at least annually one test that is the HbA1c or the average blood sugar to detect whether they have already started developing diabetes or predisposed to be having diabetes at a later life. And these are the individuals who have a very strong background of diabetes in the family, like one of the closest members, like the mother or the father, brother or sister suffering from diabetes, or they're overweight and obese individuals. Hope this entire series of educational videos has been helpful for you. And uh, if you like the video or if you would require any additional information, make sure that you click on this link below. So thank you and I sign off here. Thank you so much.